Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's another beautiful Saturday. Um, this has been an awesome week for Z06 uh, news and reviews. Uh, just tons of content out there. I just want to kind of go through a list of the ones that I've watched personally. Uh, kind of do a rating on you know which ones I thought was the best. Uh, all of them have great content. There's really not a whole lot of negatives that you hear. Um, most everything is positive. Uh, one thing that clearly stands out is many of them definitely say you should option for the Z07 package. Um, as well as carbon fiber wheels, a lot of them say, you know, that it's it's very noticeable with that package and the, and the wheels. Um, something else of point is a lot of them, you know, in the beginning when we saw the power, uh, you know, with 670 horsepower and the 460 foot-pounds of torque, it seemed like the torque was really low because it's more of a higher revving you know car and that was kind of concerned to some people you know because everybody's kind of used to that low end torque but from all the reviews they're saying that the power band that there's torque on demand um so that's a good sign uh, but anyway i'm gonna go through the list uh starting off with number one uh savage geese that one by far to me was the best produced video i mean it tells just an excellent story of the whole z06 uh the development um it is a long video almost an hour long but that one is absolutely worth your time to watch it they did a phenomenal job on that video um i'm gonna rank number two as uh speed phenoms video Reason why I'm I'm saying that is the in, the car audio equipment that he had set up in that car the inside inside the vehicle sound was amazing. Um, he's an awesome driver anyway, Austin, uh, young young guy, but he definitely knows his stuff. Uh, his videos are always really good to watch. Um, I wouldn't really say he's total fanboy. I mean, he didn't really start from Corvette. He was more known from Mustang. Uh, and he likes all kinds of cars. It's not, you know, just the Corvette, but his channel is very good. And, you know, that review that he did on Z06, his first drive, he actually has two reviews. He has one for where he drives it with the non-Z07 and then one with the Z07. Um, and that the comparison's really good. So his are, his are good videos to check out. Um, third, I'm going to go with Amelia Hartford. Um, you know, she's kind of like the darling child of uh, Corvette right now. Um, was in the original commercial and everything else, the reveal. But, uh, you know, and she has awesome videos. I, I watch all of her stuff. It's just, I do think the Savage Geese one was top. I mean, that was top tier. And the sound is what makes me pick Speed Phenom above hers. But she's going to do a lot. She's already done a lot of stuff. She's got a drag race video, um, which a lot of people are saying it's not apples to apples. But, I mean, come on. Anytime you're talking Corvette with supercar exotics, I mean, it's a good video. Um, yes, the Corvette's got more power than the other two cars. Yes, the Lamborghini's not all-wheel drive. Well, neither's the Corvette. So, you know, it's a, it's a fun video, and they make that clear in the video multiple times. They're telling people, hey, look, you know, this is, you know, this is for fun. Um, Throttle House, another great video. Um, that Dude in Blue, David has a good video on that. Uh, he's very, you know, just to the point a lot of times on his stuff. Um, and his, that's, it was a great video. Uh, the straight pipes, another great video, uh, vehicle virgins, another good video. Um, Redline reviews has a good video. Uh, Eddie X, um, his video, actually one of the first videos I saw was when they had the, uh, the 70th anniversary, uh, the Indianapolis, uh, pace car edition. Uh, so that was a that was a cool video back a few months back or whatever. Guys that I love watching is Joe Rady from Rady Rides. Uh, his video he always adds a lot of comedy into the videos, um, and so it's it's great to check that out too. Uh, but anyway, that's my list of videos. Um, Chevrolet has also released another video. Um, if you haven't seen, I'm going to add it to the end of this. It's like about two minutes and something. It just kind of tells the progression of the Z06s. It's kind of cool from the C5 generation to the C8 generation. Uh, and, but I'll put all the links to all these videos uh, in the description. On that note, you guys have a great day. So 
one of the things that you see immediately from the 8th generation Z06 and you feel is the responsiveness of the motor. That throttle map is fantastic. When you get in track mode, it's so underneath you, you know exactly where it is all the time. Z5, Z06. It's the very first Corvette I ever raced. You feel really in touch with the road, glides along. It really purrs. The C6, the Z06. There was something about the way that this chassis worked that just clicked with me. So now onto the track in the C7, Z06. Supercharged, 650 horsepower. Amazing sound, real throaty roar. One of the other things you will find with this eighth generation car, you just want to keep doing lap after lap after lap. Wow, well guys, you have done an awesome job with this eighth generation Corvette. It's just fantastic. Thanks, Oliver. We are very happy to be here with the heritage of this car, C5, C6, C7, C8. You know, Oliver, the Z06 started with the second generation car in the 60s as an option, the secret code you could order, which made the car more track capable. And so now we've come back and brought it back to life in the fifth gen, the sixth gen, seventh, and now the eighth, I would argue is the most capable of all. But I don't know why we're talking here. We've got four drivers, four seats. Let's get out there, have a great time, and see what these cars are all about. Five second head start. Yeah, that works. Right on the tail of the seventh generation car, the C7. 